out as to where we are tonight. It's the Toyota Center here in downtown Houston, Texas. Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Portland Trail Blazers in this one as they go up against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Blazers coach Terry Stotts had previous head coaching stints in Atlanta and Milwaukee, but it was as an assistant coach in Dallas where he helped win the 2011 title that he rejuvenated his career. Stotts wasn't sure he'd get another coaching opportunity, but after that, he said the stars aligned. Kevin, he's now in year eight as head coach in Portland. The players love him. Thank you, David. And uh, look now at a few years worth of data. Uh, some of the assist numbers under the microscope for Harden. The, the drop in his assists over the past few years have, have made him more of a one-dimensional player offensively. He needs to get that passing element back in his game, and that'll make life a lot more difficult for opposing defense. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. McCollum, the two, and Hood, the three. Whiteside is out there with Nurkic, and it's Lillard in at the point guard position. And for Houston, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Green, and it's Covington in at the three spot. Scouting reports, very detailed. Clark, talk about the types of insights those scouting reports would reveal about your team and your opposition. Typically, player tendencies and team go. tendencies, how do they win? What areas are they really strong in? A team being excellent on the glass or tremendous in transition offense or very physical. I mean, just those types of nuggets that you would have for a team and then individual players so that you could try to position them to not be at their best by what you did to counteract them. Good explanation. And the basket is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Sinks the triple. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now, here's Lillard. 20 points for him last game against Charlotte. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. That shot, no good. And it's Houston the other way. Stolen by McCollum. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Yep, that one goes. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far and you know what they're going to keep using him I mean he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today you can bank on that and it's Westbrook with the ball he brings it up for the Rockets they come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies total embarrassment I, I was shocked at how poorly they played I, I think they were shocked yeah, and you know those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way everything going against you very frustrating now Lillard after Westbrook's missed three, it's good. Boy, I love watching Lillard turn on the Jets using that astounding speed to blaze past the defenders. Here's Westbrook. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Shoots. That's good on the jump shot. Westbrook's got five. And that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Lillard against Westbrook. Passes it to McCollum. There's the triple. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's got seven. You know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you like to start. Now here's Westbrook. He has five. He kicks it to Green. Good work defensively by Whiteside. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Green against McCollum. And the pass to Lillard. Shot clock at six. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. When he was drafted, Damian Lillard said he, he wanted to go to the Blazers 
with the six pick. The, the opportunity to play right away and be embraced by the city of Portland. The Trailblazers shooting their first foul shots of the night here. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year. Uh, but just a tad worse, so not too bad. And the first one at the line is good. And Damian Lillard says, Greg, win or lose, he wants to stay in Portland. He keeps his residence there year-round. And talk about his loyalty in high school, lightly recruited. He ends up committing to Weber State. His senior year, all the big schools come calling. And Lillard kept his commitment. That shows you how he's built. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Such a wide open look. Tell you what, for a guy who's inconsistent from three, Tucker's showing you he can be scary out there at times for a defense. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That's his first foul. Lillard against Westbrook. And a wide open look for McCollum. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. And it's nine points for C.J. McCollum. Rockets trail by five. It's Westbrook with the drive. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. For Portland, they've gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. And Lillard kicks to white side. Again, the Trailblazers score. Yeah, you know, Lillard has been so good at finding the open man. Puts a lot of zip on his passes, and he knows he's responsible for getting his teammates the ball. For Houston, they've gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And stolen by Whiteside. McCollum against Harden. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. You look at Houston. They couldn't hold their position this week, but remain in the top ten. And when you look at Portland, they've had a solid season. A, a tick below some of the elite teams in our league, but you love the fire and spirit they've shown here thus far. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Stolen by Tucker. And now it's Westbrook running. He can go all the way and finish off by Westbrook. Tucker forces the turnover, then immediately gets the ball up court. That's just an experienced, smart play. Pass to Hood. Nurkic with it. Shoots over Tucker. And Nurkic gets it to go. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Now here's Westbrook. Nine points in the game so far. Unloads. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Westbrook's got 11 points. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Outside hood. Pass to Nurkic. Shoots over Tucker. And Portland again with the bucket. And such a polished player near the basket. Nurkic feels comfortable taking those in close shots. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. It's a five point game and stolen by Lillard. Put on the wing. Nurkic trying to get open. Hood can't get it to go. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. Here's Green. Nurkic with the block. Hood against Covington. Now here's Hood. He's guarded close. Pass to Whiteside. Three-pointer Lillard. They grab their own miss. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. 
Another miss by Houston. Trailblazers leading by seven. To the left wing. Nurkic, the pass to Hood. Goes back up. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Harden with it. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. And equally spent as much energy on his D. I mean, four steals kind of tell the story. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Trailblazers. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And the other thing that's been equally as effective is the fact that they've gotten out on the fast break. A lot of points coming in transition. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Cephalosha comes in for Green, and Damari Carroll subbed in for Robert Covington. Hezania, he's checked in for Portland. Ariza comes in for Rodney Hood. Harden hits them both. Mark, there are a lot of great playmakers in this NBA that sometimes we don't talk about or under the radar. Yeah, there are. Uh, again, so many outstanding players in, in, in a league of 30 teams, but, you know, Drew Holiday, he's been outstanding as a big playmaking guard, as good scoring the ball as he is playmaking. Um, Draymond Green, not a guard, but makes decisions and passes the ball like a high-level guard and is extremely valuable in that Warriors attack. Those two guys are a little bit undervalued for their ability to make their teammates better. Good point. Ariza with the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Here's Westbrook following the score by Trevor Ariza. Westbrook. The Rockets again can't hit. Portland leading by nine. There's the pass to Hazania. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Houston's gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. And here's Westbrook from the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Westbrook's got 14 points. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Pass to McCollum. Takes a three. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Rockets have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Now Westbrook. 14 points for him. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Nurkic. To the middle. It's stolen by Carroll. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And Harden with the stop. Boy, that was a masterful read from the talented Harden. I mean, he's at his best when he's attacking in the open court. Nobody better. Now, here's Lillard. He's one of the better scorers in the league, averaging almost 25 points a game. McCollum finds Nurkic. Shoots over Tucker. Rebounded by Tucker. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That is his first foul of the game. Gordon's checked in for the Rockets. Austin Rivers comes in for Russell Westbrook. And a switch here also for Portland. Simons is checked in. And here's Rivers coming in off a 10-point performance last game out. Pass to Carroll. Back to Rivers. Rocket six. Passes it to Tucker. Down low, here's Cephalosha. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And there's the pass to Simons. No good on the triple. Rockets trail by five. Rivers kicks to Gordon. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Quick release from Gordon. Like seeing him shoot it as soon as he gets it. 
McCollum against Gordon. McCollum dishes to Ariza. Pass to Azania. Here's Simons. No points in the game yet for him. Nurkic the pass to Hazania. Good work there as it goes. Let's just call him No Fear Hazonia. A committed scorer who knows how to ward off contact. Pass to Tucker. But three. Ariza with the rebound. And it's Ariza with the ball for the Trailblazers. They lead by four. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Live by the three, die by the three. If you're perimeter dependent, you don't really know game to game how it's going to go. You know, I think the lack of success from the perimeter really did them in. They just couldn't get it going from there. Now here's Rivers. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Hits the three-point pop. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Simons. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Passes it to McCollum. The pass to Hazania. The shot misses, and it's Houston the other way. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High-octane action for sure. Crowd-pleasing already. Here's Simons after Eric Gordon's bucket. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game plan. The putback. Here's McCollum. It's Herzonia in the corner. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. Herzonia's got five now. Well, I love the confidence that Herzonia shows pulling it from deep. Boy, his stroke, a thing of beauty. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Trailblazers lead by two. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to be a better leader. Uh, leadership was a huge thing, and um, I felt the way I reacted to certain plays and my facial expressions um, and my demeanor can change a lot for a teammate. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And taking a look at the Trail Blazers' performance, uh, what do you think they're doing or not doing? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Trailblazers, Trevor Ariza out there with Anthony. Then it's Collins. Then there's McCollum. And it's Simons in at the one. On the free throw, no good. Clark, you were so prolific in so many areas of the game. Which part of basketball came the easiest for you? I think the rebounding piece. I always had a knack for sniffing out missed shots and had the size and timing and hands to chase down rebounds. But that was probably the strength of my game and the most unique part of it at an early age. And then the ball handling. My dad was 6'4 in the 50s, which meant you pretty much played inside and he drummed into my head and my heart. Make sure you can handle that ball. So from the time I Take started a break. playing, Take a break. I was dribbling Two and shots. making sure I could handle it. And it served me well during my playing career. The first one falls. And you know, when Gordon is healthy, he's extremely effective. I mean, he's a high motor player who strokes it well from deep, actually strokes it well from everywhere. Aguilar! 
And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, Eric Gordon is the kind of player that you absolutely do not go under on a screen. He'll pull up from deep. Yeah, he's got great range. And you watch the former Hoosier shoot, and you see how much he uses his legs. Gordon's liable to take a shot from any distance in the gym. I mean, he's got that kind of range, and his form is very efficient, and his confidence is sky high. Al Gordon following the three-point attempt by C.J. McCollum. The shot by Carroll, no good. Portland leading. Ariza outside. Here's Anthony. It's rebounded by Houston. And even three on three break. There's McLemore. That one misses. Good D by Ariza. Portland's gone three of seven tonight from three point territory. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Here now, the upcoming schedule for the Portland Trailblazers. On Friday, they continue the road trip heading out to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. Then on Saturday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Oklahoma City Thunder. And, and looking at the Mavericks matchup, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. He misses the free throw, and the Rockets making a change here. Green's checked in. And he's good on the second. Rockets trail by three. Now here's Rivers. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one's on Anthony. You know, at this point in his career, Austin Rivers has proven how deadly he can be as a weapon, Clark, off the bench. Yeah, you know, Kevin, I like the energy that Rivers comes in with. I mean, he pushes the tempo and looks for a shot as well. Uh, and I think he can play either guard spot effectively. Rodney Hood's checked in for C.J. McCollum. Rivers hits both of them. And, and what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. Now here's Anthony. He's coming off a 10-point game against Charlotte. And he also dominated the glass out there. He hit the boards hard and often. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Rivers can't get it to go. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game even Greg as he's gone from team to team you know he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot and as he grows older you, you can see him being a top level six man for the rest of his career Robert Covington's checked in for Damari Carroll and the Trailblazers making a change here as well Whiteside's checked in for Trevor Ariza Whiteside inside, working on green. Whiteside, good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Here's Rivers. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. Gordon kicks to Covington. Houston moving the ball around. Green, the pass to Rivers. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon, and the shot is long. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Or 
quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And Green's defense, very important to this team's success. The way he gets up in the face of whoever he's guarding, it becomes infectious to the rest of his guy. Connects from three-point range. Covington's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Outside Anthony, over McLemore. That one, no good. And the Rockets take it the other way. And it's wide right, hits off the rim. For Portland, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Simons, the pass to Collins. Shoots over Covington. Shot by Collins, no good. Houston's gone six of 11 when they've taken the three-point shot tonight. Very respectable. There's Gordon with the three. Portland grabs the miss. You know, he hasn't made any threes this quarter after sinking just the one in the first. Simons, the pass to Collins. Hood against Gordon. Hood can't get it to go. Rockets trail. McLemore with the ball. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shot by Gordon, wide open. The Rockets with another miss. Portland's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Hood, the pass to Collins. Out to Anthony. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Anthony's got six here in this quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Houston's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Gordon goes in. And the rejection by Collins. Here's Anthony. Oh, and the jam by Anthony. Carmelo Anthony imposing his will inside. Doesn't take any time. Rising up for the dunk. Portland shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight for the Rockets. James Harden, he's checked in for McLemore. And it's Russell Westbrook in for Rivers. Damian Lillard's checked in for Portland. That free throw good from Anthony. Clark, we have seen so many great players in the history of this terrific game, but in your mind, who's the best to have never won an MVP? Wow, you think about some of the names on that list recently or not too um, long ago. Patrick Ewing, um, Scottie Pippen, same right. era. Um, how about going back to John Havlicek, a former Buckeye and all-time great with the Celtics. Elgin Baylor, one of the first uh, wow. high-flying forwards that I recall one of those really creative do-it-all type forwards. Jerry West and Dwayne Wade right in that mix too, man. Those are some lofty names that didn't get an MVP. Here's Westbrook after the made shot from Carmelo Anthony. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon, and it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Simons surveying the D, and it's slammed in by Whiteside. And Hassan Whiteside in this deep. Forget about it, Kevin. I mean, he's great at getting inside and finishing with force. Rockets trail by 11. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Shot to stop the run. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. One shot. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Yeah, I don't think it's an accident that aggressiveness correlates with playing better. So the aggressiveness is starting to pay off. 
And it's Simons missing. Houston's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots, 6 of 13. And I think one of the things understated about Harden, he's a great athlete. I mean, he can rise and bounce. He's strong. He's quick. He can easily punch it on you when he gets to the rim. Now, here's Lillard. Pass to Whiteside. Over Green. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it had been talked about for some time, but last summer the Heat finally decided to pull the trigger on Hassan Whiteside. Traded to Portland for Leonard and, and Harkless. Whiteside and the Heat had soured on each other in a trade. A chance for both sides to have a fresh start. free throw missing and looking at the numbers for Whiteside the last few years Greg it seems like his production has come back down a bit and for a minute Whiteside looked like he could be a dominant center but he struggled since his great 2017 season shot selection has been hurting and, and sometimes it feels like he is in his own way as a player so he comes up empty at the line yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Now here is Cephalosha from Deep Harden. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Now you got to remember that Harden has a quick trigger, staple gun quick. This guy is looking to score as soon as the ball touches his hands. Alert against Westbrook. Lillard outside to the wing on the left and he lays it straight in Lillard's got his second basket of the night and they're forcing the ball inside and it's working like a charm Rockets trail by five outside Westbrook Cephalosia kicks to Westbrook Outside, Green. Just five on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot. Harden has a wide open look. No good that time. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. They can look forward to the American Airlines Center after this game. They'll match up against Dallas. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. And then Lillard slams it in. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And, G.A., it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not... Whoa, oh, that was a strong dunk. Man, I tell you what, one of the things I love about Westbrook is the ferocity with which he attacks the rack. When he's driving inside, he's trying to punish the defender and the basket. Here's Whiteside. The Rockets pull it in. Harden the pass to Cephalosha. Now it's Anthony running. He can go all the way. A nice shot by Simons. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. And now an 11-point trailblazer lead. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley -oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Neither did the defense. 
Here's Harden. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. And Harden doesn't mind showing off a little bit either now. He has ridiculous ball skills. The defense looking completely lost out there. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. And the four-year, $196 million Supermax extension signed by Damian Lillard this offseason. Dame Dalla living up to one of his many nicknames. But money well spent by the Blazers. Houston making some changes. P.J. Tucker comes in for Jeff Green. And Damari Carroll subbed in for Robert Covington. Portland also making some changes. Yusuf Norkic, he's checked in for Whiteside. Riza comes in for Anthony. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Anferni Simmons. It's Harden with the drive. That's no good. It's his second miss. He's made four. Trailblazers leading by nine. Here's Willard. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. Houston's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Deep two from Carroll. Tries again. And there's the bucket as Cephalosha finishes it off. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Yeah, I mean, test the hot hand. You're exactly right. I say let those triples fly. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Westbrook, no good. Portland's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's a reason. It's good for his second make. He's made 2-3 or three so far. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing purposeful passing it is partner their last 10 points have all come off assist Rockets trail by 11 55 seconds left now here in the second and here's Westbrook from the arc rebound by the Trailblazers Norkic has got eight rebounds in this game Hezonia finds Lillard back to Hezonia Lillard outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And last season, a rare 5-by-5 five five game achieved by Yusuf Nurkic. 24 points, 23 rebounds, 7 assists, 5 steals, Greg, and 5 blocks in a game against the Kings. And how about the only player ever to log a 20-25-5 game? The Bosnian Beast making a name for himself. And the first one at the line is good. Lillard is really a, a force of nature. I mean, an incredible talent who torches just about everybody with his scoring ability. Both shots good from the strike. 32 seconds left in the first half. Lillard against Westbrook. That one goes. Count it. Westbrook's got 21 in the game. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. And finished off by Hezonia. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Right side, Westbrook. Nurkic with the block. And they're able to recover. And so it's the Portland Trail Blazers. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection. And it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Terry Stotts. Coach, they've been shooting poorly. Is that good defense or bad offense? Probably a little bit of both. You know, I think we're competing defensively, and they've missed some opportunities. It's led to good results for you, though. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. 
What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. C.J. McCollum was on fire in the first half. He had 12 points, two assists, and one rebound. Shaq, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? You know what, Ernie? I got to stand up on this one. I salute to their bench. Man, once the starters came out, man, the others just came to life. You got to love seeing that kind of contribution come from the others. Man, they look beautiful tonight. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Houston? Well, the differential in rebounding was huge. And it goes back to the fundamentals, blocking out and just maintaining position. Instead, they went to the lazy man's route, flying in the air, trying to steal rebounds. Well, that didn't work. No one is going to give you an easy rebound. They need to show some fight. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Well, you look at Russell Westbrook in this game. He has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And so Lillard will bring it up for Portland. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Green is out there with Robert Covington. And it's Tucker in at the center filling out the middle. That's the five for Houston right now. Six to shoot. Back to Lillard. Fires from deep. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Westbrook. Here's Covington, and it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. Whiteside's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's McCollum, and it's in. Basket number six for him thus far. He has only missed two shots from the floor. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Westbrook passes to Covington. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Tucker. Back to Westbrook for the three. Rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Cullen passes to Hood. Here's Whiteside over Green. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. And it's the Rockets on the break. Harden with room to shoot. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Harden's got 13. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. And Lillard kicks to Hood. Wide side, the pass to Hood. With the shot. The second chance effort. White side, good. Ten points for him. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. McCollum and the rejection by Harden. Covington kicks to Westbrook. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Whiteside's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. That's his third foul of the game. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Passes it to Hood. Puts up a three. Boy, I tell you, the long reach of Covington, really bothering shooters. I mean, he enjoys making life difficult 
for whoever he's assigned to. And Harden on the follow. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. That's a two from Hood. Offensive rebound. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Rockets have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And, and 75% on the season as a unit from the free throw line. You know, their percentages dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys. But it's not a huge drop off, so no major concern. No good on that one. Mark the two-way contract, a relatively new invention that gives players time in both the G League and the NBA. I love it, Kevin, because it's another pathway for those aspiring to be NBA players to have a legitimate shot to make their dream come true. The G League is just a notch below the NBA in terms of overall talent. And so I love the fact that players who desire to be pros can have a pathway to get to the NBA by being part of the um, G League as well. And these G League players are having an impact, aren't they? They're making a difference on a lot of teams. 40% of the players in the league have spent some time in the G League, so it some. speaks to the um, impact the G League has on the NBA. The Rockets with another miss. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Lillard with it, and it's Gordon picking him up. Hood kicks to Lillard. From deep three-point range, here's Whiteside. No good on that one. And the Rockets take it the other way. There's Gordon with the three. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Gordon's got ten points. And really, the three-point shot is Gordon's specialty, Kevin. When he squares himself up, there's a real high chance he's dropping it in. Here's Collins from 13 feet. It goes down. And the Trailblazers lead by 13. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. Takes the three. And another three for Houston. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Portland's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Now the pass to McCollum. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Westbrook passes to Covington. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Covington's got his second basket. Lynn leading by eight. Now McCollum, 14 points for him. And on the wing, the three hits it from three-point range. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's Harden. Lays it up and banks it in. Harden's got six here in this quarter. Now a timeout called by Portland. And you talk about shot makers. C.J. McCollum, one of the best in the game from mid-range. You could argue he's the best flat out. Houston making some changes. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Robert Covington. McLemore has come in for James Harden. And it's Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Portland also making some changes. Carmelo Anthony has checked in for Whiteside. Riza comes in for Rodney Hood. And it's Simons in for Lillard. And you look at the shot chart for McCollum. He's a threat leg from everywhere. Able to hit off the bounce, pulling up. At his height, he's got to be creative making space for his shot. And McLemore kicks it to Tucker. Rivers passes to Gordon. Five on the clock. Over Anthony. That one's in there. The trailblazer lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Eric Gordon. 
Portland's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Outside Collins. Here's Simons. He's guarded by Rivers. Let's it go from the wing. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Simons has got seven points in the game. Oh, he had him spinning. He looks like he's dizzy after that crossover. Pass to McLemore. Back to Rivers. Dishes it to McLemore from about 19 feet. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Tucker. Yeah, you know, we've seen Tucker extend his range over the years, but it's still not that extended. I mean, this in-between area is probably more his natural comfort zone. Right side, Collins. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. McCollum, no good. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. McLemore, no good. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Rivers against Ariza. Looking for Anthony, and gets it there. Over Gordon, and Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Ariza. 13 points in the game. Well, you got to respect the jump shot of Anthony because he's got the ultimate green light. And because of that freedom, he's a dangerous guy on the perimeter. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Basket counts. Nice to see Gordon use his touch down low. I mean, not the biggest guy, but still skilled at scoring close to the bucket. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. A mid-season tournament, a postseason play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. Now, all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? DA, great assessment. Good report. Thank you so much. Tabo Safalosha has checked in for Houston. And Portland with a change here, too. Hazania's checked in. And it's Gordon missing. Trailblazers leading by nine. No one near him. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals. Five for eight in the game. And Hazania loves pulling up off the dribble. When the defense gives him space, he rises with no hesitation. Rivers passes to McLemore. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And let's take a quick look now at some stats for Trevor Ariza. His last 10 games, he's around 10 points per game, three assists, and three rebounds. The contributions he's been making on the floor have been a boon for this team. Great stretch of games for him. Yeah, you know, they've given him more responsibility, and he's responded, and the way he's going, I think his role is only going to increase. And he knocks down the first one. Norkic checked in for Zach Collins. And so he's able to get one of two. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Here's Rivers, and he uses the glass on the layup. Rivers has got seven points. Trailblazers leading by eight. Well, you know, for so long, Mike D'Antoni has been a vanguard on NBA offense. His teams have always played great offense, moving, spacing, dynamic players. Um, defense has not been at the level of offense, but I think he's actually improved as a coach in that area as well. He dishes it to Gordon. We've got 148 left to play in the third. 
and Clark, part of it for Dan Tony is that he is delegating defensive duties. Yeah, and I like that, Kevin. He's made sure to have a defensive coordinator on his staff delegating that role and responsibility. Uh, he thinks and knows that his team is better off that way. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Blazers. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. That's good from Anthony. And you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. And the Rockets making a change here. Green's checked in. So Anthony nails both of them. Rockets trail by 13. And there's a foul. It's on C.J. McCollum. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Lillard's checked in. One thirty-five left here in the third quarter. Houston moving the ball around. Cephalosia finds Green, and Green slams it in. And Green getting off the floor there for the dunk. Really like watching him sky up for those. Pass to Nurkic. Kicks it out to Lillard. It's Herzonia in the corner. Hits the jumper in space. Herzonia's got 13. And for Houston, they're shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Passes to Carroll. 51 seconds left in the third quarter. From deep, McLemore. It's good from long range. McLemore's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Trailblazers leading by 10. Lillard, the pass to Hazania. Over Cephalosha and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And being that he's six foot eight, Hazonia is really a menace inside. He gets his shot up easily in the paint area. 35 seconds left in the third. Rivers against Lillard. A nice shot by Rivers. Rivers has got four points now in the quarter. Taking it up strong against size. He does not lack for confidence. That's well done there. I mean, don't even give him a chance to get to the block. Get in tight and finish at the rim. Ariza outside. Offline with his three. And here's McLemore. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. If you allow him to get that close, you deserve to get scored on. The Rockets have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. And Portland making a change here. Just four seconds left in the third quarter. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. 
And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Rockets trail by seven. And on the floor for Portland here in the fourth, Lillard and Hood work together in the backcourt. Trevor Ariza out there with Hazonia, and it's Nurkic in its center. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Knocked loose. Harden scanning the floor. It's Carroll on the wing. Ariza covering. Harden outside. Inside. Here's Green. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Green's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Houston. And the basket by Lillard. And the Trailblazers lead by seven. And for someone who spends most of his time on the perimeter, Lillard's a terrific finisher inside. His moves to the basket aren't tentative. They are strong. Here's Rivers. Here's Green. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And turning down what would have been a tough shot for himself into an easy one for his teammate. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Ariza outside, the pass to Hazania. And again, it's Portland converted. Well, you got to really get into Hazonia's airspace because he's looking to pull as soon as that ball hits his hands. Now a timeout called by Houston. And it's easy to see why a team would want Ariza on their roster. Makes the right decisions, mentors young players, and is well-respected throughout the league. Robert Covington's checked in for the Rockets. Russell Westbrook comes in for Rivers. And Portland with a change here, too. Whiteside's checked in for Trevor Ariza. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, over that last break, I listened to Mike D'Antoni talk to his team. He was not pleased. He said, you guys look dead out there. Told him they've got to play with more activity. And then he said, this is not going to cut it. I have to see who's going to step it up, guys. Here's Westbrook. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And there it is for him. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. Stolen by Westbrook. And it's Houston on the break. And there's the big-time jam as he slams it right over Nurkic. Oh, forget about going for the long-range bomb to cut into that lead. Just take it to the hoop, my friend. And how brilliant throwdown. Exercising his authority. Here's Whiteside, and again, it's Portland converting. The entire defense was frozen-footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And Westbrook, here we go. It's good. Westbrook's got six in the quarter. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Houston. Both free throws good for Damian Lillard. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Outside Covington. Six on the shot clock. The tray. Westbrook can't get it to go. 
and they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Here's Lillard, right side trying to break free. Lillard misses. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And Greg, those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Outside hood. Back to Lillard. It's Herzonia in the corner. Portland no good that time either. Rockets trail by five. Harden left side. Pulls up. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. For Portland, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it, Greg. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. First one drops. The free throw is good from Lillard. Rockets trail by five. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. McCollum's checked in for the Trailblazers. Pass to Whiteside. Sweet move. He lays it in. Whiteside's got ten points here in the second half. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to it? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. Now a timeout called by Portland. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Portland leading by four. And Lillard gets double teamed. He wants to get it to Nurkic and does. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? <laughs> a nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeedy. Well done. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Lillard. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. And that's 36 points for Russell Westbrook. Lillard against Westbrook. Right side kicks to McCullough. Misses the three. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Trailing by four. Harden's shot is off. It's McCollum on the wing. Pass to Whiteside. And they double up Whiteside. Rocket six. McCollum no good. The Rockets shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Nurkic with the block. Hood deciding where to go with it. Lillard. Westbrook with the block. Oh, 
And some very quick points for him on that possession. Westbrook's got 38 points. You know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Here's McCollum. Great tee that time from Green. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. And it's Westbrook missing. You know, brick after brick after brick. I mean, that's been the story for him this quarter. I mean, he's got to rein it in down the stretch here. Lillard and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Jeff Green picks one up. free throw is good and both free throws good for Damian Lillard Rockets trail by four outside Westbrook and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul no I tell you what he earned his money on that foul yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. First one falls for him. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Well, you have to like how he's challenging the defense now in the second half. Getting to the line for a lot of free throw opportunity. It's McCollum on the wing. Rebounded by Tucker. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. You know, no matter how you feel about James Harden, you've got to respect his love for the game. I mean, he absolutely lives and breathes basketball, and that passion has driven him to become the player he is today. And Clark, last year, Harden was quoted in saying, most players don't really love basketball. Well, I don't know about most. That seems a bit extreme. Maybe he feels that they don't love it as much as he does, which certainly you could understand but I can say the very few players have the drive and determination to improve their game the way Harden has that's part of why he's been an MVP and he's coming up big here in the clutch composed under pressure and he's now four for four here in the fourth Tucker dishes to Harden Westbrook against Lillard five to shoot Westbrook with the bucket. Westbrook's got 42 in the game. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. Westbrook against Lillard. Kicks it to Nurkic. A three from McCollum. They get the rebound. Second chance shot. Lillard from outside. Got a piece of it. And again with the rebound. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Here's Westbrook. Knocks down the step back, Jay. Westbrook's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. Passes it to Whiteside. Here's Hood. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here are the Trailblazers now. Nurkic, the pass to Hood. Shot clock at six. The pass to McCollum. Sinks the three-pointer. 
McCollum's got 19 points. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Here's Westbrook. Hassan Whiteside grabs the miss. Whiteside's good. Kicks to McCollum. Count the basket and the foul. They get Russell Westbrook. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. One shot. It's trail by six. Here is Harden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Simons, he's checked in for C.J. McCollum. Free throw good. James Harden. One of the hardest and trickiest covers in the league. Harden, not just a superb scorer but also an amazing passer, which really makes him really hard to guard. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Portland. At the job of the key, Hood. Nobody near Nurkic. No good on the three. Houston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Rodney Hood. Yeah, hard to corral the energy that P.J. Tucker plays with. And he gets in there and mixes it up, and he'll go to the line. Both free throws, good from Tucker. Clutch. Those free throws turn this into a one-possession ball game. Lillard against Westbrook. Lillard, the pass to Whiteside. 131 left in the game. That shot, no good. And the foul called on Hassan Whiteside. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And the former Hoya Green, a, a ranging forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor. Needed those and got them. Terrific job at the line under pressure. To the inside. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there, earned those free throws. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And, you know, Trevor Ariza continues to have an impact on both ends, guys. An amazing defender and an excellent shooter, too. Not an A-plus trip to the line, but he did get them the lead. Bobbed up there for Green and stolen by Whiteside. Harden against Hood. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. Well, I mean, a semi-productive trip to the free throw line, but we'll see whether or not it costs them. It counts. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put out of control is how they played thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by four. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything's been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. And Westbrook, here we go. And Whiteside takes great pride in rejecting shots. Outstanding at getting his arms up and denying shooters. So
So it's the Rockets now. Four point game. Westbrook against Lillard. Shoots. Westbrook no good. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jeff Green. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and, and luckily they, they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. You know, guys, you've got to give much respect to the length of Whiteside. I mean, he's a hawking seven-footer who takes a lot of pride in being the defensive anchor for this team. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game time. Westbrook, it falls! And now they trail by just four. And the defense, no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. And they need to stop the clock, so there's a foul. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by six. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? It's still a sliver of hope. Yeah, but they've got to score and then foul immediately. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. And here's Covington from the arc. Portland grabs the miss. And so they foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Rivers dishes to McLemore. Another miss by Houston. So the Trailblazers win it. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Damian, it looks like this team's progress can be measured by your improvement at the defensive end. Do we see that tonight? Um, we, we made some mistakes like every other basketball team does, but I think we did a great job of making adjustments. You know, we got a little more physical. Um, you know, we did a great job of that. And that led to a big win, Damian. Thanks for your time, man. Kevin? Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.